Good morning, and welcome to St. Francis of Assisi. Today we celebrate the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our presider today is Father Joe Folletta, and the intentions for this Mass are Lucille and Lyle Hoffer, Agostino Perotino for his birthday, and a special intention. The announcements for this weekend. We welcome back Father Joe Folletta, who has graciously offered to be our celebrant at all our Masses this weekend. The Feast of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary is Monday, August 15th. There will be a 12.10 p.m. Mass at the South End site. Father David Mikowitz will begin as pastor and rector at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, St. Mary's, and St. Francis of Assisi parishes this Monday, August 15th. To assist him in the day-to-day -day operation and management of both the Cathedral and St. Francis, Jasper Stoller has come on board last Monday, August 8th, as the Business and Operations Administrator. We send our prayers and best wishes to them both. The annual joint parish picnic, St. Francis of Assisi, along with the cathedral folks and the historic St. Mary's folks, will be held on Saturday, September 10th, at the Elm Avenue Park in the town of Bethlehem, between 12.30 and 4 o'clock. Sign-up sheets are at the entrances of both churches. Just put your name, how many will be attending, and what dish or dessert you will bring to share. Watch for more information in upcoming bulletins. And finally, a second collection will be taken up this weekend for the missionaries of the Christian Brothers. Please be generous. Thank you. Good morning. Our gathering hymn is number 614, Rain Down, number 614. Please stand and we'll begin our celebration. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the Lord be with you. And let us pause in the presence of our Lord and one another, call to mind our sins, and ask God's forgiveness. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you are a God of mercy and compassion. Lord, have mercy. 
Christ Jesus, you are a God of peace and justice. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you are a God of new life. Lord, have mercy. May our loving God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. Loving God, help us to be open to your spirit as we celebrate this morning's Eucharist so that we might continue to grow in holiness and in faith. We ask you this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In those days, the princes said to the king, Jeremiah ought to be put to death. He is demoralizing the soldiers who are left in this city and all the people by speaking such things to them. He is not interested in the welfare of our people, but in their ruin. King Zedekiah answered, he is in your power for the king could do nothing with them. And so they took Jeremiah and threw him into the cistern of Prince Malchia, which was in the quarters of the guard, letting him down with ropes. There was no water in the cistern, only mud, and Jeremiah sank into the mud. Ebed Melech, a court official, went there from the palace and said to him, my Lord King, these men have been at fault in all they have done to the prophet Jeremiah, casting him into the cistern. He will die of famine on the spot, for there is no more food in the city. Then the king ordered ebed Melech the Cushite to take three men along with him and draw the prophet Jeremiah out of the cistern before he should die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God.
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us rid ourselves of every burden and sin that clings to us and persevere in running the race that lies before us while keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, the leader and perfecter of faith. For the sake of the joy that lay before him, he endured the cross, despising its shame, and has taken his seat at the right of the throne of God. Consider how he endured such opposition from sinners, in order that you may not grow weary and lose heart. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding blood. The word of the Lord. you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. A father will be divided against his son, a son against his father, a mother against her daughter, and a daughter against her mother, a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. My name is Joe Doherty, and I am a De La Salle Christian brother. We are officially the brothers of the Christian schools. The Latin abbreviation is FSC. 
fratres scholarum Christianorum. In practice, that really means F forever, S seeking, C cash. The cash is for the poor. Their education around the world. A great big thank you to Father Joe and to Deacon Michael McDonald for hospitality and opportunity. A great big thank you to you for your attention and prayers. In this capital region, we associate with Christian Brothers Academy, La Salle School, and La Salle Institute. F forever, S seeking, C cash. Three examples of the works of the brothers. We work with refugee children, truly the neediest, most destitute, absolutely poorest of the poor. These suffering children have lost their possessions, their homes, their countries, their cultures, their families. By disasters and violence, they're broken. Example number one, in Bethlehem, where Jesus was born, we brothers operate a university for refugees and children of refugees and even grandchildren of Palestinian refugees. Number two, also in the Middle East, children flood Lebanon from the tangled turmoil of Syria. Our brothers teach refugees there too. Number three, on the border in Thailand, minorities in the hundreds of thousands flee persecution from Myanmar, Burma. The brothers welcome children to the bamboo school. Education empowers, dignifies for progress, ultimately for peace and for the experience of the love of Jesus. Somebody cares for these children. We brothers care for these children. Yes, for these children, we Christian brothers are bravely forever and always seeking cash. F, S, C. As today's letter to the Hebrews reminds us, fix your eyes on Jesus. Please be generous today and upon children in grave peril, ask God's blessing. Thank you.
Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the prophets and martyrs of this age who live among us, that they persevere in the path of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. For nations divided in ancient conflict, that their divisions will be healed and their people will work together peacefully, we pray. <clears throat> For those made homeless by famine, flood, fire, or earthquake, that they find strength to rebuild their own lives and the lives of their neighbors, we pray to the Lord. For divided and quarreling families, that Christ will bless them with healing and reconciliation, we pray to the Lord. For all who gather at this table, that we continue to be a source of hope for one another, we pray to the Lord. For the sick in our parish and their caregivers, let us pray to the Lord. For the deceased in our parish, let us pray to the Lord.